Hey guys, in this video we're going to connect our Canon PIXMA TS3520 series printer to our phone and I'll show you also a way to connect it to your PC. So don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and let's get started and get this done. So just to get this thing out of the way, this is not a wireless connection. If you want to use a wire to connect it to your uh, PC, and uh, you can use this cord right here. This is a six foot USB printer wire. It's connection A to B, and this is what it looks like. Um, you're gonna have this connecting to your printer. This is gonna connect into your computer. So on the back of your printer, this is where on the right side of it, if you look at the back of the printer, this is where your connection to that is. You're gonna use this square connection. You can see how it's uh, the two corners are rounded off and you're just gonna go ahead and connect that there and push the cord in. And then on your PC, you're gonna find an available USB port and you're just gonna go ahead and plug that in there. As soon as you do that, if your printer is on, you're going to hear a sound on your printer and uh, you're going to see that the printer is downloading software and trying to install your printer. So that's that should be pretty that, like the easiest out of all. Um, if you do not see your printer acting on it, either your USB port isn't working or you just need to download a driver for it. You just Google uh, Canon TS3520 printer driver and you should be able to find it. Uh, online make sure you only use Canon website do not use any third party because that could be a scam so only Canon and you will see Canon for example uh, if you're in the US it'll say Canon.USA and so on if you have it connected by a wire you can still use your phone to wirelessly connect to your printer so let's go ahead and do that I have a very old phone that I'm going to use for that and uh, I saw that comment the other day on my other video which is a similar printer to this um, but it's it's pretty much the same stuff. It's an up, updated app, so it works. Um, this is the phone that I have. Um, what you're going to need to do is download an app um, from Canon. It's a Canon print app. This is what it looks like right here. Uh, this one there. This is what you need to download. So in your Android store or your Samsung store, Apple store, you're going to go ahead and just search for Canon Print is the name of the uh, app that you need. This is what it looks like on your screen here. You can see that this is lit up, but it has an X right next to it. It means that there is no network connection to this printer yet. A lot of you want to know how to get your passcode on for your printer. You may not need it because you might be able to just connect directly to your router you, you know with the help of your phone so but if you still need the passcode to get that passcode you will need to make sure you have some paper in there and you're gonna hold the information button for 10 seconds so uh, I just went ahead and pressed it about 10 seconds is the button that has I on it that's your information button after about 10 seconds I'm gonna let it go and it's gonna start printing it's going to print three pages, but the first page has that passcode on it. So here it goes. It should print right away. If the printer starts doing something, that means you pressed it for too long and it's going to start to clean the print head. You don't need to do that. Just go ahead and press stop. But for about six to eight seconds should be enough for it to start printing this. And just hold it for six to eight seconds and then let go and you'll see the printer start printing this right away. The passcode that we need is in the network this here under three this is the passcode the pin code that you need or may not need so let's let's go ahead and try to connect to our phone so after you downloaded the app I see I have a TS 3700 series printer in here that I installed earlier uh, that's not the printer that I need so I'm gonna go ahead and press add or switch if you do not have any Canon printers what's gonna uh, it's gonna say is just like add a printer in the middle of the screen so we're gonna go ahead and add or switch I have two Canon printers on here um, and this is not one of them so we're gonna go ahead and press register printer if printer cannot be found button at the bottom here and you're just gonna set um, auto connection so you're gonna find this link button on your printer 
It's located right next to the I button. So this is the button that we need right here. We're gonna go ahead and press that. First on the app, you're gonna say yes. It's asking if you do have that button. You're gonna say yes. It's gonna tell you to press it and hold for three seconds. One, two, three. And then we're gonna go ahead and confirm and hit next. Okay, and it found this one. You'll see a message saying Wi-Fi disconnected, Wi-Fi connected. Just ignore that as long as you have your um, Wi-Fi on on your phone. So it found my printer. It's this one right here. And it's asking me if I want to set it up. I'm going to go ahead and press OK. So this is what the printer is doing. It's flashing here, flashing a light right there. Um, and then this is my home network, my home internet that I'm connected to with this phone and it's uh, asking if the if this is the router so I'm gonna go ahead and say yes so you just saw the message pop up like it's, it says Wi-Fi disconnected just ignore that it's uh, it, something that might do on your phone so that shouldn't be in your way so now it says for another 150 seconds it's gonna do the connection which usually takes a lot less than that it's going to be about 30 seconds versus 150 so 150 seconds is about two and a half minutes it's a lot shorter than that so on the printer you can see that the bars went on so it connected already now we have this printer right here um, it's gonna ask you to just like see if you want to print a photo or whatever and there's the different options so now our Printer is connected to our phone. Basically, same thing goes for your tablet. You're going to have to download the app from Canon Print, is what it's called. And um, it's a very good app, works very well. In the future, you don't have to do that as long as you connect your phone and then you can directly print from PDF to, through your printer utility on your phone. Um, you don't have to go through this app every time. So, here you will see all the things that you would get on a color touch screen for example if your printer had one um, so it says it's online now there's photos it goes to your gallery on your phone and lets you choose photos to print you can scan from here and you can use this scanner over here which is really cool it's a lot more better quality than just taking a picture on your phone if you're trying to send some serious paperwork to someone use this and use your printer it's there um, so copy options even though you have copy options here so let's see here what I like to show is things that you can do for example check your ink cartridge uh, quality that's a nozzle test pattern what you're gonna do is you're just gonna press on this printer right here and it's going to show you all the things we're gonna skip the survey it shows you the ink cartridge levels. The color is at about 80%. Black is about 60% full. And uh, you go to utilities. Um, it's going to ask you to do this authentication. And uh, that's basically to um, control your printer settings from your phone. And you're just going to say the easy authentication. You're going to press and hold the link button for three seconds. And let go and then it registered it right away so it's going to communicate back and forth with your printer so it goes to our utilities and then nozzle check is what i like to do and go ahead and print that that'll show how good the colors are on the uh, printer this is where they'll come out there we go it prints all colors so four colors the black and then um it also shows how many pages has this printer printed so this one about 900 pages so far so that's good and all colors look very good you're just going to select all a because that's what our test looks like if you have lines on there it's going to recommend you you're going to press also b and it's going to do a ink uh, cartridge cleaning which wastes a lot of ink so i just recommend trying to clean it manually first by wiping the cartridge nozzles um, and if you want to go the route of cleaning the cartridges, just go ahead and do that. But I'm going to go ahead and select all A, and we're all good. 
So that's pretty much it for connecting your printer. It's very simple um, process. If you're going to be connecting it through a utility other than this Canon app, you will need to use that code that we printed earlier. So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please don't forget to like, subscribe to our channel, and have yourself a great day.